Tejas Research and Engineering presents its TRIV with VOI safety valve, which is short for tubing retrievable injection safety valve with a variable orifice insert. Injector wells make up 25 to 33 percent of all completions worldwide, and they're being increasingly used in brownfield applications, but we find that conventional production technology is being used for these injector wells. One current solution for injection safety valve is a fixed orifice technology. They have problems with flapper chatter, damage, narrow operational windows, low injection efficiencies, and they only provide a single barrier protection. Typically these wells use a very high flow and differential back pressure to reset. Once reset, the flapper will always be subjected to flow until the critical pressure and flow are reached to properly actuate the flow tube within the valve. With fixed orifice designs, you will always have an increased differential back pressure with increased flow rate, and there will always be a flapper chatter and damage area below the opening differential pressure. An example of the flapper being exposed to flow before the critical flow is reached can be seen here. This will lead to long-term damage of the flapper. To combat this, we made a direct replacement for the fixed orifice insert valve, one that would help get the flapper open before any injection flow goes through the safety valve. Within the VOI, differential pressure forces acting downhole are counterbalanced by spring force, spring preload force, and magnetic force. As the spring force increases, the magnetic force decreases. Both of these together allow you to have a very flat pressure differential response with increased flow rate. And you will completely avoid the flapper damage zone. The tubing retrievable injection valve with a VOI can be run downhole in the open position. The VOI can be run on wireline or within the TRIV. Initial flow resets the VOI, a second cycle resets the lower flow tube, and then the TRIV and VOI are fully functional. The initial injection pressure fully drives down the VOI such that the upper and lower flow tube can be connected. When pressure is released, the flapper closes. The subsequent pressure cycle completely opens the flapper before flow is allowed to move through the VOI. The VOI adjusts to the flow to keep a low, consistent back pressure. When the flow stops, the flapper valve closes. The TRIV and VOI do not require control lines from the surface and can be set as deep in the well as possible. The simple design also provides for dual barrier protection from below. In the unlikely event that injection stops instantaneously, the VOI will protect the topside equipment from any potential surge problems. In a close-up view, you can see that the initial pressure from injection will cycle the upper and lower flow tubes to allow the flapper to close. The subsequent pressure cycles will completely open the flapper before injection begins. Again, the VOI works without any surface control and is transparent to surface injection operations. The VOI can be run and recovered with standard wireline operating procedures and equipment. The VOI lock allows for high flow efficiency and the VOI itself is made from erosion resistant materials. The interaction between the TRIV and the VOI during injection operations can be seen in these videos. You can see that the flapper is fully opened before flow, and when flow stops, the flapper closes. Again, all of this is done without any top side hydraulic control lines. This solution is less expensive than deep set nitrogen charged valves. It provides true dual barrier, no flapper damage, 
maximum injection rates, and better injection efficiency. Ultimately, they're injection safety valves for injection wells. Thanks for watching.